So welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're discussing layer two solutions, optimism and Arbitrum. Are these the future for ETH scaling? There's some big updates here for Arbitrum primarily, but also some, you know, information on optimism as well. So focusing in on these key L2 solutions. So there is a Nitro upgrade planned for today for Arbitrum. This is optimistic roll-up technology, essentially a scaling process that requires batching up of transactions offline and then chucking them back online in rolled up batches of various sizes. So according to Offchain Labs, the developers behind Arbitrum 1, Nitro, it's a fully integrated complete layer 2 optimistic rollup system, including four proofs, the sequencer, the token bridges, advanced call data compression, and more. So a lot of technical jargon in here, but it's going to make Arbitrum a lot more scalable, i.e. cheaper and faster. So the new features will have a new prover, allowing the L2 Arbitrum engine to be written using standard tools and languages, specifically Geth, the most popular Ethereum clients, whilst being compiled directly into Arbitrum. So Offchain Labs updated Arbitrum's operating system by rewriting its component in Go, assisting cross-chain communications between Arbitrum and ETH, the L1, and reducing the cost of batching transactions. So this is a technical upgrade ongoing today, the 31st of August. What does it really mean? Well, more scalable, faster, cheaper to utilize Arbitrum going forward. And this could potentially be the kickoff for an L2 season here on Arbitrum. Of course, macro backdrop as asterisk down here, not very favorable. But still, with this increased throughput and reductions of on-chain costs, it's going to make Arbitrum a real go-to for ETH scaling. So this is going to mean a lot of TVR growth potentially, as I think what we're starting to see here with Optimus and Arbitrum is that the whales on Ethereum are happy to go to these genuine L2s. I know we have the likes of Polygon, which is kind of branded as an L2, but really isn't. These are specific L2s for ETH, and we're seeing TVL get attracted to them, and thus they can probably take up a nice bit of the market share of Ethereum going forward, which is going to be very, very interesting throughout this bear market to maybe accumulate some of these tokens. But as DeFi Surfer puts here, most importantly, this sets the stage for Arbitrum Odyssey or the return of. So this ran back in April, I believe it was. They have these events where they want you to go and utilize the dApps on Arbitrum and thus you get NFTs. And I think this is a way of ensuring that your wallet is therefore tracked and that you can potentially get an airdrop of the Arbitrum token. No airdrop officially announced as of yet, but much speculation around this one. So the update today on the 31st of August sets the stage for Odyssey. So be prepared to play around on Arbitrum over the next few weeks and potentially get an Arbitrum airdrop. This is a token you really want to have, especially if you can get it via airdrop. So all hands to the pump for this. And if we just look at some of the TVL data here on DeFi Llama, you can see the likes of BSC, AVAX and Polygon, $1.8 billion in TVL total. Then you have Arbitrum and Optimism around $900 million a piece. Therefore combined, they are the same as the likes of Avalanche and Polygon, chains that have been around a lot longer. So this is where I'm getting to the point Arbitrum and Optimism, there's clearly a lot of whales who have been happy to push their funds from ETH main chain over onto here. And maybe they're kind of individuals who don't want the risk of utilizing AVAX, Matic, you know, there's concerns around multi-sig, things like that, and also bridging across to these different chains where Ethereum L2s like Arbitrum and Optimism will be less likely to be hacked going forward, touch wood. So these are seen as superior tech, Going through some of the Twitter posts from some notable individuals, it does seem that Arbitrum is the favored of the two, but I wouldn't sleep on either, and I would be preparing to DCA into both, but Arbitrum could well be the token that outperforms. Now, more information here. So recently we had OP Optimism Rewards for Aave users. So essentially this was OP Summer, as it was dubbed. But since the arrival of those OP rewards, we saw a big boost in TVL for Optimism from roughly 600 million up to $1.2 billion, now settled down to around $900 million. At peak, I think Optimism was over uh, $1.75, now around $1.15. But the question being asked in this article, was the growth natural 
or organic. But Masari Analytics here shows some evidence that it was a bit of inorganic growth. So this is a peak in transacting addresses here. It also culminates in the peak of TVL moving over to optimism. And then after this, we can see as the incentives start to decline and the emissions go down, we're getting reduced transactions over on optimism, but a boost in Arbitrum. So this shows two things, potentially inorganic growth for OP, but also the fact we're seeing people rotating capital from optimism to Arbitrum in this PVP market right now. So this article suggests that the platform wasn't able to sustain the hike, maybe a little bit unfairly. I think it's just, you know, people are going where the capital is likely to move next, and that will be Arbitrum here with Odyssey about to kick off. On the other hand, Arbitrum managed consistent active user metrics without offering any incentives for the network. So this is rather interesting. Without having the token live and without having to incentivize users, the transaction volumes, the number of transactions, the number of unique wallets, 106,000 unique addresses here. They're posting up some pretty healthy numbers going into this upgrade today. So Arbitrum will undergo this significant upgrade. It increases transaction throughput, slashes transaction fees, and simplifies cross-chain communication between Arbitrum and Ethereum. So I think it is healthily set up here for a bit of a bumper run, potentially, if we don't get rugged by the macro. So some nice data visualization here from James Ho, really good thread he put together, showing some stats here for these L2s, the percentage of ETH transactions. So they're now making up towards 30% of total ETH transactions. This is on a steep incline, I would suggest, and shows you that they are being pretty much selected as the chosen L2 scaling solutions. We're not seeing these big growth trajectories in the likes of Polygon right now. And even with Ethereum being relatively cheap, I think GUI is down to like 12, 14 per transaction right now. People are still utilizing Optimism and Arbitrum to do their degenerative activities. So here we have TVL, the amount of value locked on layer twos up 130% since the beginning of the year, bullish metric there. Then we have Arbitrum and Optimism's TVL percentage of ETH. As you can see over the previous couple of months here, we've been around 2%, nice jump up to 3% and now up to 8.1%. So you can see that there is obviously good user growth there and TVL metrics to support that as well. We can see the addresses on the chart here, nice movement to the top right hand corner and even for the monthly volume on Uniswap via Arbitrum and Optimism, they only used to capture 1-2% to of ETH main nets amount of volume but now we're peaking up to around seven percent or even nine percent on the highest days and he says double digits soon and of course when you have more transactions and a bit more competitiveness for block space you do get gas fees going up as well but as we've mentioned arbitrum looking to reduce those with the update today so it may be a good time to really dive into the arbitrum ecosystem this is portal.arbitrum.1 this gives you a unique directory into all of the protocols that are you know utilizing arbitrum now and the ones you may want to play around with over the odyssey period coming up over the next week or so and just keeping your ear to the ground for that as we do want to get these sweet sweet airdrops so this was a bit of a bullish stat but of course this can be read in numerous ways i saw this posted online about crypto fees so suggesting that arbitrum and optimism here with you know one day fees around 40 and 30k respectively a lot higher than the likes of alt L1s such as AVAX, Cardano, Phantom, Nia, Polkadot, for example, which have been around obviously a lot longer. And people suggesting, look, this is super bullish for these chains. Can we think about where we're going to be in a year's time, four years time, etc.? And I do tend to agree with that. But on the face of it, of course, there are these kind of periods now we're going to get a bit of a narrative drive for both of these. And thus people are entering in these ecosystems and utilizing them, looking for airdrops and looking for incentives as well, for example, over on OP. So this could be a little bit of you know, a shady picture. However, I do think going forward, you're going to see the likes of these actual L L2s really outperforming and pushing up towards capturing a load of the transaction fees from ETH mainnet as we see the likes of whales getting comfortable utilizing these genuine L2s and really sidestepping the likes of BSC, Polygon, Solana, etc. going forward. I think that is just the way that things will go, but of course we will see as time plays out, but definitely worth keeping these on your list. How much does it cost to use these L2s right now? Well, the likes of Arbitrum to send ETH costs around 12 cents on Optimism around 7 cents. We'll see where this is after the network upgrade today. Maybe it'll become even cheaper and rival the likes of ZK Sync 
and loop ring here just a little bit of food for thought optimism token 249 million dollar market cap so i think arbitrum will come in a little bit higher than this uh huge amounts of inflation coming um to optimism here in the op token there are a scaling down of the actual emissions rewards over the next week uh, but still worth keeping an eye on that because you could get chopped away in dilution but when you have a market cap of around 250 million dollars versus the likes of polygon which is around six billion right now and you can see some of the stats really you know actually better than Polygon or in some instances very close to Polygon, it makes for a nice risk to reward play here. So this is the kind of things I'm looking at and interested in both OP and the Arbitrum token. For more updates, we need to stay following the Arbitrum account here with details over Odyssey over this coming week. And then of course, participate as much as possible on as many wallets as possible to get as many Arbitrum tokens as you can. So airdrop not confirmed, but likely here for Arbitrum. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, then support the channel, hit that subscribe button guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.